Hello guys, what's going on? I'm just going to grab something to drink and then we'll be off. Okay, so this is the second update of my mono blue deck. It's, uh, well, you've seen it before, uh, but this time we're going to update it a bit, or that's the plan anyway. Uh, let me just remove this here. Yeah. So this is a blue mono deck. Mono means one, so that means it's only one color in here. Uh... Let's see if I can get my commander out there. Here we go. This is the commander. Yeah. So he's uh, whenever you cast an instance, instant or sorcery spell, create a two dash two blue drake creature token with flying. Yeah. Uh, my son made those tokens for me. I'm not going to show them here right now, but there it is anyway. Yeah. So uh, this is the commander, and he basically just is around and you get tokens when you cast sorceries and instances and stuff like that yeah and we're gonna go through my maybe pile and maybe we're gonna change out some cards here on the extreme side we got uh, Never Nero's disc. So when this disc enters the battlefield, destroy artifacts, creatures, and enchantments. So I just pay five, and it's uh, basically a board wipe right there. Or, uh, but it doesn't create uh, uh, it doesn't uh, destroy lands. Or we can do uh, one more extreme. Whenever a quick creature deals combat damage to a player, destroy all permanents other than World Slayer. Yeah. But that also destroy, destroys the lands, so... It's a bit on the extreme side, probably. So I should probably not put this in my deck. And just stick with this, maybe. But we'll see. I also got some other cards in my maybe, uh, maybe pile here. So let's just go through them real quick. Uh, this is a wall, and the good thing about that is that uh, when it's put into the battlefield, you can take a sorcery or an instant card into your hand from your graveyard, which is pretty cool. Other than that, it's just a, a wall. Nothing really fancy with it. But it's pretty cool to have for that effect alone. What else? We got a select for inspection. Uh, return target tapped creature to its owner's hand. So the creature has to be tapped. So, yeah, but many creatures are tapped when they attack and stuff. So that's no problem. And I get to scry one. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. And it just it just costs one, so that's very good right there. It's basically almost free. Yeah. So that's something to consider. Uh, but I am considering using these type of effects instead. Uh, time ebb, it says here. Put target creature on top of its owner's library. So instead of it going to on his hand, it goes to the top of his library instead. And it's a foil on this uh, card here. Yeah. So that will slow the game even more down for that player. Because uh, it doesn't go to his uh, hand, it goes to the library instead. So Pretty awesome. Yeah. Uh, so I'm considering actually changing out many of these or some of these cards which put the creature into your hand and putting it 
on top of owner's library instead. But it's a sorcery, so I can't cast it instantly, though. I guess that's the main gripe with it, if there's any. This is an instance I can just, yeah, you know, cast it instantly. Yeah. Uh, we also got this. I believe I have this uh, already in here. I have to check that out, but... Uh, It's pretty cool. It's a stolen identity, so I can steal a spell or a creature. What else did I find in my... I found a cool land, so I'm going to change that out. <laughs> it's a foil, so nothing more to it. But it's, a, it's cool to have as cool deck as possible, and the foils are pretty cool, so... Just gonna round these cards up for you guys so you can see them for yourself. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sigil Starfish. It's uh, just a creature, but I get to scry one. So, and I get to do that each turn if I want. So that's pretty cool. Uh, this is also a scry card, but it's very cheap. It only costs one, so and I can do it instantly if I want. Then I scry one, and I look at the top card, and I can put it on the bottom if I want. And I also draw a card, so it's pretty good. I think this will be uh, useful. Favorable winds. It's another enchantment. I got a few enchantments in here now, which uh, give plus one, plus one. To my creatures and this one gives to flying so yeah pretty cool uh an artifact which gives one of my creatures death touch and lifelink i'm not too sure about this though because i don't got many creatures in this deck so it's probably just a waste of space this card uh tap up to th two target creatures those creatures don't and tap during their controls next untap steps square one pretty cool it costs four though so that's a bit of a bummer a sorcery put two dash two dash two blue bird enchantment creature tokens with flying into the battlefield square one it costs six though i'm not too sure hmm. oh well land land don't need lands really What's this? It's uh, add uh, to your mana pool. It's a uh, generic mana there. Spend that mana only to cast instant or sorcery spells, which is no problem. At the beginning of your upkeep, if there are three or more instant and or sorcery cards in your graveyard, transform Curious Homunculus, which trans transforms it to this. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. So my sorceries and instants will cost one less to cast. I think this is going to be a fine addition. Untap all non-land permanents you control. It's something I don't have in here, so maybe that's a cool idea. So I attack, and all my creatures are tapped, so my opponent thinks he can attack me, and then I use this, and suddenly all my creatures are untapped, so I can block if i want yeah i want to one uh, another one of these um lands which is pretty cool so i'm just going to change out one of my lands and then i have one more cool land in here uh these i don't need target creature you control gets minus plus three and gains hex proof until end of turn well that's a yeah that's cool i guess it only costs one, so. Ray of Command. It's a classic card, this. On top target creature and opponent controls and gain control of it until end of turn. That creature gains haste until end of turn. When you lose control of the creature, tap it. Yeah. So, also a pretty cool card. And whenever you cast a blue spell, 
or an island enters the battlefield under your control, you gain one life. So, yeah, I guess I gotta have this in here. This is also quite cool. I get to tap uh, non land permanents. So, yeah, pretty good. Uh, zombie horror. Okay. Uh, Okay, so I guess it can be cool to have a zombie in here. Yeah. Then don't need that. Uh excel up the two target creatures you control, then turn those cards to the battlefield under their owner's control. I don't know why I would want to uh, uh, cast this. Maybe to get the effect of my wall again, maybe. If I can find it here. I have two creatures and I cast this the first time and I get to search my life for a sorcery card or an uh, instant. And then I cast this. And then I get to do the same thing again. Yeah. So I guess it's pretty cool. Uh, look at the top card of your library. You may reveal up the one. Uh, yeah. It's okay. But I don't know. Ah. I got a lot of draw effects in here, so I don't need it. Play with the top card of your library revealed. You may play the top card of your library. That's cool. Put target creature on top of its owner's library. There we are again. Pretty cool. So instead of them putting the creature into hand, they have to put it into the library instead. Uh, counter target creature spell. Put a do 2 dash 2 blue illusion creature token into the battlefield. Pretty awesome. And uh, Jace's Ingenuity. Spell Twine, I got this, I think. This was pretty interesting. Actually, when I read it and picked it up, let's see what it says. Aeon Chronicles power and toughness are equal to the number of cards in your hand. And I can suspend it. Uh yeah. But the suspend cost is pretty steep though, so I might as well cast it, I guess. Oh yeah, but whenever time country is moved from Alan Chronicler, while it's XL, draw a card. Yeah. This is just a flying uh creature. But it is something to make my deck more aggressive. I guess this is uh, what uh, this stream is all about. Making my deck more aggressive because it's a bit slow now. Uh, when Trinket Mage comes to the spell, you may search your for an artifact card with Grimoire Mount. Okay. I don't think I need that. Draw two cards. Yeah. Plain and simple. Right there. What's this? One crystal here comes to play. Look at the top card. Okay, so it's a way to check out my library. Yeah, okay, that's a bit expensive though, so I don't know. Draw a card. Pretty simple. Only costs one right there. Yeah. And target player draws two cards. That's probably me drawing two cards. And what's this? You may have body double enter the battlefield as a copy of any creature on the battlefield. Actually, quite cool. And the control of target instant resource becomes it. A player may choose new targets for the copy. Uh, we also have this. I'm not too sure about this one though, but maybe. You may choose non 
Uh, yeah, so it basically means I can control a creature. Uh, yeah. So that is it. That's the cards I'm considering for changing out in my deck right here. So let's just start. I'm not going to explain these cards to you so much because you've already uh, seen me play or go through these cards before. I'm just going to quickly go through them and find out what cards may be better and may be more, more suited for this deck. So this is a land. What's this? It's uh, you may return to. Yeah, that's cool. Gonna keep that. Uh, exit all spells and counter all abilities. I don't know why I need this. It costs four, and why would I need this? Uh, I can take this in my maybe pile probably. It costs four, so it's a bit expensive. Land. And what's this? When a player puts a creature card into the play, that player in turn then. And this is good because, well, uh, I don't have any creatures in here, so that's cool. Target player draws three cards, draws two cards, but I can uh, pay flashback and do it again, so that's pretty awesome. Gotta keep that. You have no maximum hand size, that's pretty cool. Uh, draw two cards, then discard a card. Unless you turn land, you control to its owner's hand. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, it's a cool name for the card as well. Counter target non-creature spell. Draw a card. I'm going to put this in my maybe pile, I think. It costs a bit much. Uh, land, land. Flying, whenever you surveil, you may pay two. If you do, create a token that's a copy of copy catchers. Yeah, so I can create copies of copy catchers, which is pretty cool. Land. What's this? Uh, yeah, this is pretty cool also. Other blue creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Which is awesome for me. And yeah. And it says you, so only me then. So Veil 2. It only costs 2, so this is pretty good. Land. Land and a foil into the royal. Return target non and permanent to its owner's hand. If the spell was kicked, draw a card. And it's an instant. So I guess it's okay. Yeah, gonna keep this. Bone to Ash. Counter target creature spell. Direct card. Uh, it's very expensive again. Uh, but it's a counter. I should probably not remove many of these counters because I need them. So I guess I'm gonna keep it. Yeah. And it also lets me draw a card. Look at the top five cards of the library, put them back in any order. This is also quite good, and it's very much free. It only costs one there. What's this? Uh, yeah. You may cast spells as though they had flash. That's pretty awesome. So I'm going to keep that. It also has a cool foil effect there. Land. Not too interested in that. Counter target spell unless its controller removes his or her graveyard from the game. Draw a card. Okay. Uh, it's cool. Only costs two, so pretty awesome. Lost thoughts. Draw a card. And I can put that on a creature I control. So then I get to draw even more cards when it attacks a player. And does damage to a player. This one is also quite cool. Instance and sorcery spell costs one less to cast. Uh, yeah, and it's almost free right there. Land, what's this? Uh, 
This is also quite cool. I only cost three, and I can choose one. Either the counter one or the other one. This is cool because I can uh, do the same. I can uh, put a sorcery or an instant card from a graveyard into my hand, which is pretty cool. This is also quite cool. Uh, let's me gain life. Yeah. Yeah, I guess this is pretty cool. I'm going to keep it. And whenever this guy attacks, I surveil, and I do have some uh, cards that rely on surveil on this uh, deck, so I guess I gotta keep it. Uh, yeah. So if I pay six, then I get to do this indefinitely. One, two, three, four, five. But I do already have a few of these, though. I think I'm going to probably put this in the maybe pile and see if I can find something better for it. I don't know. This is a must-have, and I found out that it, this also removes lands. So, this is awesome. What's this? It's one of every enchanted creature. Yeah, I guess this is cool as well. Shark Typhoon. Don't have that. I gotta have a few of these because I draw a lot of lands with this deck, so I have to have a few of these. You have no maximum hand size. Other than that, it's just a generic mana artifact rock kind of thing. This spell costs two less to cast if it's targeting an attacking creature. Return target creature to its owner's hand, so veil two. Pretty good. Uh... Yeah, okay. Land, land, and what's this? Squid Horror. Whenever you draw a card, put a... Yeah, so it just gets stronger for every card I draw. It's pretty cool. And if it dies, it just spews out a lot of 1-1s. One so. That's the part, first part of my deck right there. Returning target creature permanent to its owner's hand. Uh, yeah. Boomerang. Yeah, okay. I guess we gotta keep that. It only costs two, and it's part of what makes this deck so annoying. Okay. Instant and source spell costs one less to cast. That's awesome. Uh, that's an additional cost to cast. Baby section, sacrifice a creature, draw three cards. That's also quite cool. Counter target spell, unless it's controller pays four. Yeah. Uh, island. This, I don't know. It's a bit complicated and it's a bit annoying, so I'm just going to put it in my maybe pile. Land. Cryptic Command, pretty awesome. I get to choose two, so pretty self-explanatory while I need to keep that. Uh, return target creature to its owner's hand, draw a card, uh, drag under, uh, yeah, 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 it's a sorcery, okay, okay. Mm. I do have a few of these now. I can put it in my name, but find something else. Uh, land. I need to make this deck a little bit more aggressive, and that's the goal of this video. You may look at the additional two cards each time you surveil. That's cool. Yeah, so I guess I gotta keep that. I don't remember how many surveil effects I have now, or how many scry effects I have, so... I guess it doesn't count for scry. Each turn, yeah, that's propaganda. That's a staple of blue, so I gotta keep that. Uh, return all non land permanents to their owner's hands. You may cost this. Okay. Yeah. This is pretty cool. 
only costs one, and I get to do both. Come to target spell, cancel. I got a lot of counters in here, but that's what blue is all about now. Opportunity, target play draws four cards. Yeah, I guess I gotta keep that. Land. Gotta keep that. Gotta keep that. Uh, yeah, blink of an eye. Yeah, okay. Only costs two. You have no maximum man size, and at the beginning of your upkeep, you gain one life for each card in your hand. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. Uh, a land that lets me get an get an extra turn. I'm not sure if that's useful to me, uh, but I can just keep it for kicks, I guess. If you would draw a card while your library has no cards in it, you win the game instead. That's pretty cool. But when's that gonna happen? I'm not sure it will ever happen. Uh, but I'm just gonna keep it, nonetheless. It's uh, another win condition, and it's an awesome one at that. Search your library for a basic land card, reveal it, put it into your hand. Yeah, so I get to... I guess I gotta keep that as well. Uh, Mystic Confluence, I get to choose three if I want. You may choose the same mode more than once, so. Last bunch of cards here now. Uh, Cyclonic Rift, that's Surveil, that's awesome. Return target creature to its own in hand, draw a card. Uh, I think I can change this out with something else to make it more aggressive. Uh, at the beginning of your upkeep, target opponent puts the top three cards of their library into their graveyard. Then you draw a card for each land card put into the graveyard this way. Pretty cool. Uh, surveil. That's cool. Gain control of X target creatures and or planeswalkers. A bit expensive, but it's awesome nonetheless. Yeah. Uh, creature with power, uh, creature with power less than the number of islands you control can't block Kraken of the Straits. Okay. counter target spell and I can buy it back and I get to choose two cards if I want island spell twine yeah I thought I had that so I had, uh, each exile target instant resources card from your graveyard and target instant or target from an opponent copy those cards cast the copies if able without paying their mana costs exile spell twine pretty cool What's this? Draw three cards, then put two cards from your hand on top of your library in any order. Only cost one. Jesus. Uh, high tide until end of turn. All islands produce an additional... That's cool. So it's a sort of a mana thing. Surveil three. Pretty cool as well. Land. All blue creature gets plus one, plus one during your upkeep pay two or destroy a single tape. Yeah. So it's a make my creatures stronger kind of thing. Return all creatures to their owner's hands. I guess I gotta keep this. Flying, you have no maximum hand size. And this. I have a lot of tokens, so yeah. Land, land. And this is cool. It has a suspend cost, and it's the only way to cast it. So, awesome stuff. 
draw three cards, yeah. And uh, I can exile cards from my graveyard and it pays for the spell. Land. Uh, draw three cards, Lorian reveals. Uh, it's a bit expensive, but oh well. Um, yeah. So that is it, and I also have a bonus uh, little thing. I haven't put a card in here, so then we have. Let's see here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, seven cards up for consideration here. So, so what are we gonna do? And the goal here is to make this deck a little bit more aggressive than it is now, because it's it's a bit stale and there's not much happening. I'm just Biding my time and creating tokens, and that's cool, but I need to do a little bit more, I think, with it than that. Uh, yeah. So I guess this is pretty self-explanatory why I have to have this, since this is a blue deck. So I think we're going to put this in here. What I'm going to replace it with, though. I can just do it easy. I'll just take this card right here, which is empty, and I'll put this in here instead. Yeah. So there it goes. And now I effectively have 100 cards in my deck. Okay, what else? We have uh, this. It's a target spell. No, it's a counter spell. Sorry. Uh, and I'm going to change that out with this because it's just the same thing I just put the card back in my opponent's hand but what's the point in doing that every time I need to do something else so that's why I'm doing this now instead yeah. Uh, I guess this is pretty cool. But I can't have too many enchantments in here either, because that doesn't do shit. And with my uh, commander... Title influence, let's just get rid of that and put this as my replacement enchantment instead. Play with the top card of your library revealed. Yeah, so. Yeah, pretty cool. I'm satisfied with that. Um, I'm not sure, man. Let's just do this. So, this does something else, not the same thing all over again. So that's pretty cool. I'm satisfied with that. What else we got here? We got a counter target creature, non-creature spell. Um, can I find something better than that? Uh...
Yeah, let's just uh, replace this with my wall here. Which is pretty awesome. So now I suddenly got a wall instead, which lets me return target sorcery or instant card to my hand. Look at other spells and creature. No, exit all other spells and counter all abilities. I gotta re read up on the ruling on this card, but I think I'll remove it for now. And replace it with something like this card right here. So now I can control the creature. Yeah. Pretty satisfied with that as well. So now, yeah, my deck is becoming more aggressive as we speak here. I guess I gotta have this guy in here as well. There's a lot of sorceries and a lot of junk going on, so. And I'm removing this card right here. It's a sorcery and I really see no need for it. Uh, yeah. So yeah, there we go. So that is uh, basically it, yeah. Uh, I'd... I could have this, but that will just make the game longer and I'm not too sure my friends will approve of that. Yeah, so I guess that's no go. The same with this guy. Yeah. There are some pretty cool cards here, though. I should probably. Blink of an eye, what the hell? Let's get rid of that too. I don't want to have too many creatures in here. So Ray of Command, here goes nothing. There we go. What else do we have in here? 
Oh yeah, we need to have this in here as well, actually. Okay. This one gets removed, and we'll put in this guy instead. Yeah. Changing out a land with a foil one. That's pretty cool. Body double. Let's just uh, let's just remove this as well with body snatcher. If I can find it, there we go. No body double. It's called. Oh, yeah, I've forgotten about the main thing here. I've got this in the mail, and I'm going to open it now for you guys so you can see what it is. I have this in another deck, and I should probably have this same card in this deck as well. Uh... And it's this card right here. It's, um, let me just take it out of the thing I'm going to do here. Wow. I actually got it. Okay. Sacrifice Evolving Wild. Search your library for a basic land card and put it into the battlefield tapped, then shuffle your library. Okay. Oh, well. Well, it's fun. I can add it. I can put it in here, I guess. Uh, Island Walk. Um, but this was, uh, this was uh, what I was going to show you. This creature can't be blocked as long as defending player controls an island. Okay, but wait, there's more. All islands are islands in addition to their other types. Yeah. Oh, wait, there's more. Creatures without flying or island walk can't attack. So there we go. That's basically it, man. So... 
yeah, we can just uh, change out this land here with uh, this one. And it's, uh, even though it's green, it doesn't have any green colors here or stuff, so I can just put it in there just for fun. And I get to shuffle my library as an extra effect right there. Okay, so which card am I going to change out with this? Let's see here. I believe this deck now is a little bit more... Let's just take out all these. Tar target counter spell, that's cool. That's also cool. That's cool. Okay. Let's do a little bit extreme stuff. This has got surveil, so that's cool. Gonna keep that. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, it's pretty good, but um, I don't know. Yeah, it's a commander deck, man. I think I'll be removing this, to be honest. I'm going to show you my commander. Uh, this is my commander. So, uh, well, whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, create a 2-2 blue drake creature token with flying. So, Okay, if you say so. Putting it back in there. There we go. But let's see, what else can I put in there then? Uh, which is a replacement for the other one. Uh, this one was cool because it's got surveil. Yeah, but I agree with you. So no, no, no worries, man. It's a good guard. Uh, shark typhoon, awesome stuff. <laughs> I can't get rid of this, so I need to find another card which I gotta get rid of. Uh, this though is excellent. It's just awesome stuff. And I found out uh, recently that I can remove lands with this as well. So <laughs> pretty awesome. Uh, this guy is just awesome. So he's cheap. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep him. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> it is man. It's awesome. Um, if you guys enjoy my uh, channel and the content I provide, please consider becoming a member. It only costs a little bit each month, and uh, you get to support this channel. And you get to get your name on the end of my videos and streams and stuff. Uh, shorts not included, though. This guy, I did consider having him as my commander, but then I wouldn't get my drakes uh, online, so he's just a creature. It's pretty cool though. Last thoughts. I need to draw a lot of cards with this uh, deck, so I guess I gotta keep this. Counter target spell. I gotta have counters in here. Yeah. And this is pretty cool. If I have the this card in the beginning of the game, I get to throw it out there without paying its mana cost. So that's just <laughs> Imba. 
But other than that, it's just an effect which lets me uh, cast all my spells, including my creature spells, as instance instant spells. Yeah. So that's crazy good, man. Uh, which card is that, man? <laughs> Never heard of it. You got a name? Uh, look at the top five cards in the library. Yeah, awesome. Do that. Uh, I'm always looking for a good suggestion for better cards now. Counter Tiger Spell. I guess I gotta keep this. Yeah, it's awesome. And I get to draw a card. It's a creature spell, but yeah, most spells are creature spells anyway. Kicker. Return target non land permanent to its owner's hand if the spell was kicked, draw a card. Into the royal. It's pretty cool, but I need to have a little bit more aggressive deck. This is just delaying the inevitable. Uh, into the royal. Yeah, I'm just going to put this in my maybe pal for now. I think this is probably the card I need to remove. Surveil 2. I need to have surveil effects in here because of other cards I've shown you. So... Let's look at these then. Uh, Ray of Command, untap target creature and opponent controls and gain control of it until end of turn. This is pretty cool. <laughs> I love this card to bits. <laughs> Even though you just get to attack once with it, it's awesome. <laughs> so it's a sort of a curse of verbosity, okay? Jesus, I gotta write that down now. Curse of verbosity. Is it expensive? Like real money expensive? Do you know? Carriers of Variables City. There you go, man. Thanks for the suggestion. I appreciate it very much. I'm going to check it out. I'm not going to... Uh, I'm not going to be able to uh, get it out there to when my uh, me and my friends are playing this weekend, but... I'm going to check it out. I can't do it now, though, because <laughs> I'm streaming. Uh, the control of target instance or source will copy it. The player may choose new targets for their copy. This is pretty good as well. Yep. Mission accomplished, guys. I've made my deck more aggressive with this, actually. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. That's awesome. Yeah, I got a lot of uh, card drawing here. So, as you can see, uh, wait, let me show you an example. Uh, I have also this. Uh, if you would draw a card while your library has no cards in it, you win the game instead. So, yeah, this deck draws a lot of cards. So I should probably replace my return target creature to owner's hand to just more draw cards, actually. And this land, I don't know about this land, but yeah, I... It just makes the game more complicated <laughs> having this land in there. Oh, but, well, maybe I should just change it out to a normal land and stuff. But then I have the ability to have an extra turn if I want, so I'll just keep it in there. And you have no maximum hand size at the beginning of your upkeep. You gain one life for each card in your hand. So, yeah. So when I draw a lot of cards, I get a lot of life. <laughs> it's awesome. I love this game to bits, man. Jesus Christ, it's funny. Okay, Shapeshifter. Yeah, pretty self-explanatory, that. Uh, so I can just have Shapeshifter become a copy of this. So then I have two of them. <laughs> 
Uh, you've been playing uh, Magic the Gathering a lot, man. Many years. Back to basics. It's just a real good card. So I know my friends are playing with a lot of non-basic lands. So putting uh, this up there will just stop their game completely. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome, isn't it? What's your favorite color? Uh, three cards, yeah. Treasure Cruise. So I get to Exile, and, so yeah. and they are also. Land, land. Yeah, I gotta keep this as well, Jesus Christ. This was difficult. Return all creatures to their owner's hands. This is actually pretty good. It's not one creature. I return all creatures to everybody's hands. So this I gotta keep. But this is pretty good too. All blue creatures get plus one plus one. Land, surveil, I guess, and this has a flashback. So this I gotta keep as well in case I am out of mana and need more mana and stuff. Draw three cards. This is pretty good. Counter target spell, pretty good. Kraken, pretty good because it is unblockable. Yeah. Gain control of X target creatures and or planeswalkers, mass manipulation. Oh, yeah, red, yeah. I never could get the hang of red, to be honest with you. I'm more of a blue black kind of guy. And a bit of white on the side, yeah. Uh, but red, yeah. Uh, green is probably my least favorite color of every color. Pretty good. Uh, mm. At the beginning of your upkeep, target opponent puts the top three cards of their library into their graveyard. Then you draw a card for each land card put into the graveyard this way. Yeah, it's pretty good. I need to keep that as well. Jesus. Surveil, draw a card. Pretty cheap, only costs two. And mind you that for every time I cast a spell, I activate my commander if he's still alive. So when I cast a spell, either a sorcery or an instant, then I get a 2-2 blue drake creature token into play with flying, which is pretty nice. This is awesome. Very imbalanced, though, but there we go. It's... Uh, Return target long non land permanent you don't control to its owner's hand. But what makes this card interesting it is its overload cost. So if you pay the overload cost instead of the two there, you may cast a spell for its overload cost. If you do, change its text by replacing all instances of target with each. So it's basically a board wipe, but it only wipes my opponent's creatures. They get returned to the hand, but uh, that gives me more than enough time to just attack with everything I got while they have their creatures in their hands. Yeah. Land, okay. Yeah, really good for token removal. And it doesn't remove my tokens either, so that makes it even all more awesome. I gotta find space for this as well. This is pretty good. It's pretty good at utility if uh, I get attacked. So I can just attack at will. And if uh, an opponent attacks me, I just throw out this, and suddenly all my creatures are untapped, and then I can block. So pretty awesome. Yeah. So I turn this back into my uh, deck. Thank you for that. This is pretty good. It transforms and it becomes a weirdo. Uh, another creature kind of thing, squid horror. <laughs> this deck's getting pretty insane, man. 
Return target creature to its owner's hand. It's got surveils. I need to keep that. I have to have some surveil in here because of... Yeah, I also got surveil here, so... Targets. Removal and draw card and stuff. Counter. Index. Well, yeah, it's pretty good. Targets, okay. I did go through this pile, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, thank you very much for the recommendation, man. Have a nice day, and uh, hopefully I'll see you later. Okay, so uh, I guess this is the last bit. Counter target spell, gotta keep that. Consider, gotta keep that. This is also quite good. This is good, this is good. Everything is good. I'm not too sure about this though. You may look at additional two cards each time you surveil. Uh... Oh yeah, but I can shuffle my graveyard into my library, so. Uh, convolute, counter target spell, four, yeah. Draw three cards, yes. Uh, okay. Maybe this is it. Let's see here. Okay. Got to keep that as well then. Okay. This is becoming a little bit embarrassing here. Uh, I need to find one card which I can remove in here. I don't know which one it is though. That's Surveil. So I need to keep that. Surveil. Uh, Supreme Will. Mm. I believe I found my uh, removal here. Because last time I played this, the guy just removed his graveyard. So then this card doesn't work. And then this card goes in there instead. Uh, consider. Convolute. Uh, yeah. Uh, 
So instead of a counter spell, I now have this instead. Yeah. Let's try it like this, guys, and see how it goes. Okay, I guess that's my uh, stream for today. That's uh, the token deck 2-0 right there. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll try to play this game or this deck this weekend, and I'll report back to you on how it goes and uh, if I need to make more changes to it after I've done that so as mentioned please uh, consider becoming a member of this channel it really helps me out creating more content for you guys magic the gathering stuff found another foil so i'm gonna put that in there and then you get your name on the end of the video and you support this channel if that is important to you yeah so thank you very much for watching and have a good night Take care, guys. Bye-bye.